Folks, when it comes to the most hated character in Guilty Gear history, I feel like one character stands out as one of the biggest contenders, and that is Elfelt from Guilty Gear Xr. This character was a major problem in that game. She was really top tier. She was really safe. Super plus on block a lot of times. Hard to stop once she gets going. She had stuff like unblockable setups. She had really good range. So yeah, this character was a menace throughout most of the lifespan of Guilty Gear x -Erd. In fact, Lord Knight, one of my beloved fellow content creators, made a really great video that I'll link in the description talking about all the different reasons why Elfelt was so overpowered in Guilty Gear x -Erd. But now she's back in Guilty Gear Strive and she is a very different character as you can tell just by looking at her. She doesn't have like the whole wedding theme anymore. She doesn't even have the rabbit ears. So she's completely changed in her visuals and her gameplay. So I'm going to talk about what's different in the character now. What I think about the character. Do I think that this is a good redesign? Do I think the character will continue to be hated like she was in the previous games? Or are people going to be able to forgive and forget? So uh, yeah, first of all, just talking about visuals here. Her visual design. Personally, I know obviously this is just comes down to taste. Personally, I love it. I think she actually looks amazing. Like, I really, really love her new pink color scheme. I love the whole, like, frilly dress thing. Obviously, she's not in a wedding dress anymore, but she still has a white dress and it's super frilly. So there's, like, a bit of that design coming through. But now she has kind of an idol theme. So you can see she has, like, a microphone on the side of her gun. You'll see here on her windscreen, she uses the mic here. Bro, she's got she's got the screams locked down. I think she has one of the sickest windscreens ever. It looks so cool with the stage and everything. So I really like that. So yeah, visually, I think she looks amazing. I really like her colors too. I especially like this color. It's got kind of like kind of like a punk rock look to it. So yeah, anyway, I really like the visual redesign. But what about the gameplay redesign? Because the character is pretty much totally changed now. So how do I feel about that it's a little bit more complicated so i feel like they've done this a few times where they're like okay this character was really top tier and really disliked so let's just throw everything out and kind of start over i don't you feel like they did that with testament like they just changed everything about testament because you know testament was super overpowered and and super hated in accent core plus r and i feel like they've kind of done the same thing with elfelt right so she used to be a stance character she used to have different stances for like her different guns, you know, the shotgun and the sniper rifle and stuff. And that is just completely gone. She doesn't have any stances anymore. Now, like the shotgun is attached to certain moves. So you can see like she has the shotgun there. She uses the sniper rifle for like certain normals. So you can see like her heavy punch is the pistol. And then if you press it twice, you use the rifle to shoot them. Uh, so yeah, no stances at all. Uh, the guns are just like part of various attacks. She has this special move where she shoots this round that is gonna like pause and then home in on the opponent so it'll kind of follow them where they go. You can do some kind of cool stuff with this like knock the opponent down, set it up, and then it's gonna come back and hit them. So that's kind of fun. Oh yeah, her grenade in Exert, one of her other most overpowered moves, you know, it was a grenade, you could throw it and it would just basically tick and explode. So the opponent has to deal with the explosion and you can run around doing whatever mix-ups you want while the grenade is threatening them on screen. That is also gone. Now the grenade is like a built-in part of this special move where she crosses you up. This is, as far as I know, the only grenade that she has in her kit now is just attached to this canned move, which, you know, it's a kind of cool move, but yeah, definitely not the same level of utility as she had in x with her grenade. And now her new kind of gimmick, her new like defining feature to replace all these different gun stances is her Rekka. So her, her Rekka type attack, it starts with this move. It's not an overhead. It kind of looks like it's an overhead, but it's not. But it has an overhead follow-up. So that second hit was an overhead. It has a low follow-up. That was a low. And then it has the heavy follow-up, which is just like the ender. That's like what you tack on the end with that shotgun blast to knock the opponent down and uh, cash out your damage. But yeah, she can do some tricky stuff. She can do like high, low, high, low, high, low. This is the this is the infinite. You just keep pressing kick and then slash and you just get high, low forever, I guess. So I imagine that's gonna be like a real noob stomper. You can do low into low, by the way. So you can do two lows as well, but that forces you to end your combo. You can't do any follow-ups to that unless you like RC so that you could do stuff like that. Um, 
so yeah the reka i think is meant to be like your your kind of main mix-up tool your main sort of combo filler tool as well this seems kind of like it's it's like the bulk of her kit and it's pretty free form you know you can really do it in any order you want so you can just keep doing this you can just keep spamming the the mid into overhead over and over we can do mid low overhead mid overhead low mid whatever you can just really be super free form and make up these strings as you go so it's pretty fun to use this shotgun ender seems to be quite safe so you can see it puts you out of range where you're not going to get hit by most quicker attacks and then slower attacks like slashes and heavy slashes you're going to have plenty of time to block afterwards so yeah you can see like we're a little bit minus but not like horrendously so it's fairly safe whatever you're doing with your reka like if you just need to end it you can just use this shotgun ender like that one of her coolest new moves now i think is her command throw it is unjumpable after the flash like you would hope it is you know so like if i do this and then he starts jumping he is still gonna get grabbed but she no longer has any kind of like special move command throw built into her kit super is her only command throw that she still has but as you can see it uh puts these bombs on them that will then explode after a little while. You know, shades of her grenade back in Exerd. And this is a stagger here. So you can hit the opponent, kind of. But if they like turbo mash, uh, they can they can mash out of this. So it's not necessarily guaranteed that you're going to get a follow-up combo on that. But you can mix the opponent up. I feel like that's kind of like what they want you to do here. You can see you can like go for a high-low mix-up utilizing her Rekka. And then when the bomb explodes, you get a follow-up combo. So that's pretty fun. I, I legitimately think that this is one of like the cooler things that she has. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to trying to blast people with that in matches. She also has another overhead with forward heavy punch. You can see like the range on this is just ridiculous. So this reaches crazy far. You can maybe knock down and go for a combo into a setup afterwards. So yeah, overall, like she's pretty hard to evaluate, right? Like, like I said, the visual design, I really, really like. I, I think visually, I would give it like a 10 out of 10, but her gameplay, I'm a little bit more mixed feeling because on the one hand, I do think she feels fun. I think the instant you pick her up, you, you know what she's supposed to do and you can start doing it. She's pretty simple, uh, which is good because she's instantly fun to play. But on the other hand, I, I feel like a little something is missing. Like, it's not like Elfelt was the hardest character ever before, but, you know, she had a lot of unique things in terms of the way her kit worked, and I feel like a lot of that is gone. You know, you're not going to be mixing between your stances. You're not going to be, you know, doing tricky setups where you knock them down, you set up the grenade, you pull out the sniper rifle, try to hit them with the unblockable right before the grenade goes off, or command grab them before the grenade goes off. That stuff was really cheap, but it was really cool, too. So uh, yeah, that's kind of gone now in, an, in exchange for kind of yet another simple Strive character. You know, I know we have characters like Asuka who are like really hardcore crazy, but a lot of characters in Strive are pretty easy to pick up and play, um, which is good for the newer players, but uh, will it still be interesting when the game has been around for a long time? Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see, but uh, for now, let me know what you guys think about the new character down in the comments. I'm gonna hop online. And let's see if we can get some good matches going. I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be playing this character because it's day one. But I'm curious to see if I can actually do any cool stuff uh, with Elfelt in a real match. So let's try it out. All right, we're up against Soul. Let's give it a shot here. I'm trying a different color. I think this is meant to be like her uh, Exerd reference color. And we are getting majorly rushed in the corner here. Good blocks. Ooh! Might have been a mistake to burst there. We'll see. I might just die anyway. All right. Oh, I'm not getting saved. Okay. Okay. I'm getting destroyed for mashing. Feels bad, man. Sir. I was a little out of range for my gunshot there. Ooh, 
I mistimed it. Guys, I'm sweating. I'm sweating right now. Okay, okay, we're still alive. We're still alive. I'm sorry. I'm not talking very much because I'm deep in focus mode. Oh, nice. And you can see there's like a little bit of delay on the tracking of that bullet. But there we got him. Let's go. Oh, I'll burst that. No. Okay. I'm getting out footsie. No, 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 no. Uh, invincible super. Let's go! <laughs> yeah, I think that super is is a really good reversal. Oh, the windscreen. Let's go, bro. It's so sick. Let's go. This character is cool, man. All right. Let's see if we can uh, actually like do any really cool stuff with this character. What do you guys think? All right, knockdown. Oh, we're getting we're getting mad laggy, bro. Uh oh, not like this. I keep trying to ant here with her down heavy, but I don't actually think it's good. Oh my god. Let's go. The setup. The setup. They don't know about that one, boys. The bullet. Her her neutral normals feel really good to me. They're quite long range. I think maybe her like close range normals are gonna be a little more iffy. But yeah, like mid range, her normals are very jacked. Oh, I missed. I, I literally like missed the dust button right there. Woo! <laughs> Gunshot, let's go. Yeah, the, the bullet seems pretty good. Scream for him. You think that's gonna get old? <laughs> Not for me, man. It's crazy. So yeah, guys, if you haven't played Strive in a little while, I would recommend trying out Elfelt because, like I said, you can instantly start having fun with the character. She's very kind of self-explanatory. Her, her moves work in a very intuitive way. Nothing she has is, like, super highly technical that I've found so far. I'm sure that there is uh, more complicated stuff to the character that I just don't know about yet, but... Yeah, it's, it's really easy to get started with the character, so I would recommend trying her out. Um, and I'm curious what you guys have to say in terms of, uh, do you miss the old Elfelt? I know she was a big salt bringer, but I know she also had a lot of fans, so I would love to hear what you have to say down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.